Yeah, Kirby does have a yeah. tournament win, though. That's right. Mark, come Kirby, is, <laughs> Kirby is the best. If I were to play, I guess I could. Yeah. Kirby confirmed for 20XX in Smash 4. Come on! It's just. I always really got to just want to get with it so bad. I can't resist. Like, I'm like, okay, I got to. Alright, we have game one going to Battlefield. We have Face playing as Dark Pit and Roto as a signature Pikachu. Now, we had fun facts about the differences between the pits earlier, but I'll be honest, I can't really see why Dark Pit over Pit, but I will say that's something to do with the side B, maybe making it harder for Pikachu to recover if he tries to recover low, or maybe if he tries to use Skull Bash to recover. Anyways, these two really gauging each other's strength, keeping it a distance, but McKinley getting the early hits, and can I, can I just use these people's names? Like, do, do I have to use the tags? No, we're, just, we're just using names. So we're, we're Dart and McKinley now. Alright, so... I'm just gonna use the character names, actually. Fuck that. <laughs> Alright, so they're about even. You know, respecting each other's space. Trying to get that early percent before they start going for kills. Uh, Roto goes on the offensive, but misses the grab and quick attacks to safety. Electroshock misses, but Electroshock doesn't have that much end lag, surprisingly, so it ain't bad. Oh. And, uh, McKinley takes a slight lead, but it's still anyone's game. Pikachu, being the light character that he is, is actually getting somewhat close to kill percent, but hey, so is Dark Pit, now at 110%, with a really nice thunder from Dart. This is Losers Finals. After this, we just have Grands and then it's it. Is uh, PM already done? Dude. Oh, it's not. Dude, I checked the bracket. I actually got 6th in PM. I was really proud of myself. Dude, people say I'm not top 20? Fuck them. <laughs> PM, dude. I got 6th this tournament. Out of what? However many people there were. That is by definition top 20. I'm pretty sure everyone. <laughs> I'm not sure every player in Knoxville is here, though. You know, you're top 20 today, buddy. I'm always top 20 when I'm here, though. <laughs> Just coming here makes you such a good person that you, you deserve to be top 20. How do you feel about being top 20? I feel like I'm blue. Dabu D, Dabu Die. <laughs> okay, so. Oh yeah, there's a game going on in the background. Alright, so, uh, we're both down in our last stocks. Uh, first game still. Uh, down throw from Pikachu. Fair. And Dark Pit uses an arrow to zone out Pikachu so he can recover with his down smash. Which is like Marth's down smash, except for that it's not off. Hey, you know what I just hmm. Alright, so, with the whole leaks coming out, with, uh, Ruya and Ryu coming out, um, potentially, if they are true, which I don't see how they wouldn't be, considering all the evidence we've found, unless they're just trolling the show. Um, Dude, Sakurai is like the biggest troll. Well, here's the thing: there's stage music for it. If we get a, a Street Fighter stage, that would more than likely be a really balanced stage, considering Street Fighter, like you know, it's a fighting game. I mean, so, wouldn't it just be an FD? Actually, wouldn't it just be like an FD but a walk off? I don't know. That's what I'm curious about. If it's if it's something without walk offs, and it just has like. A balanced stage, like maybe a respectable get, fighting game. Maybe we'll stage? have another stage to add to our like count or starter. I stage. hope so. And I, I honestly, I don't agree with how many starter stages we currently <laughs> have. Just, just one to pick from after you ban something. It's like you're always either gonna get an FD or people usually ban FD. You'll either get a battlefield or Smashville. And Smashville is usually the pick because you know that's where everybody. That's their safe pick. That's where everybody's comfortable with. They, yeah. they love it in brawl. Personally, I love it in brawl. I loved it in PM. I love. I just love Smashville. It's my favorite Smash stage. I like it, it was my favorite Smash stage. It still kind of is. But recently, I've been trying to avoid it because that's where people are comfortable. I understand that getting in their heads a little bit. Yeah. I, I, even I like that, that. even FD, a lot of people try to ban it in like competitive place, so they're not really used to playing competitive on FD for the most part. Unless they're for glory people. Well, that's the thing. They're used to playing for glory players on my thing. Which is bad. Don't do that. Seriously, if you want on, if you want online Smash practice, Smash Ladder. Anther's Ladder, shout out to Anther's Ladder. That is actually they have a really good super setup legit there. for like Holy every Smash crap. game. They've got the, they've got things under control there. Dude, their stage set is the bomb. Um, I actually I love the three stock thing because I feel like in Smash Four, two stocks just isn't enough to like know your opponent head and toe. Like 
three stocks is what you need to get the nose on. And then, like, it right. just makes the match a ceiling go away. I understand that. <laughs> it could be slower, you know, there's timeouts and times, but you gotta look past that. I mean, there's timeouts yeah. in Melee. What was it? Uh, was I mean, I got Ruby, early. Rocks and Armada, that one? <laughs> Jake yeah. versus, versus oh, Young League? I mean, it happens yeah. in every Smash game. Right, I mean, I got timed out in a two stock match earlier, but sometimes people are just gonna play chicken. Hey. <laughs> uh, that's it, you did there. Shout outs to chicken, I'm not salty. You won, fair and square. I don't know, dude. I don't know if you, I don't know, I feel the salt. I can smell it. There's a little bit of salt, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, no, that just makes me better to play. What can it does. You do to, like, you know, get, make sure you don't find out. Like Learn so a character. You, can ban. Right, you know, right. taking some of these tries to ban you on, like, Battlefield. That's uh, something we're going to say, it's small. Yeah, Battlefield, Lilat. Lilat? Yeah. I think Lilat would be good, because okay, you can use those platforms to approach. Like, if they stay on top, you just go up below. If they go below, you go on top. I think that would I wish Yoshi's Island was still a thing. Dude, I was really hoping that, like, when they released the characters as DLC, they'd come with stage packs, because I want N64 Dreamland back. And I, I never want, thought I I'd say that. Get out. Like, seriously, me. You thought of the Dreams? <laughs> Dude. Okay, no. No. No, we, we play Falcon here, and uh, Falcon cannot stand Fountain. <laughs> like, it's actually really bad for him. It messes up all his combos. And I have seen, like, one too many combos Dude, fall to Fountain imagine, of Dreams. Imagine an HD on this game. Oh, I'm not denying it would... A I'm, glorious stage. I'm not but denying Yoshi's it would look Island. beautiful, but... Yoshi's Island, the reason I love that stage, I didn't like it in Brawl, but on this game, it actually leads with all, like, combos. Like, you can... You tilt people like say Gandalf, it leads in the other strings and combos, just using that platform it tilts. And the way that it tilts it's just different. It adds more to the mechanics. Right, um, right. the claw there. Mad props to the claw. One of the reasons that you know, like the stage. Shout out to the claw, the real savior of Toy Story 3. Oh my. The claw. We're not even for the show. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> STJ. S yeah. Shoutouts to STJ. Probably the best Falcon since Hacks. Rip Hacks. And STJ actually likes Fountain of Dreams. Like, he just somehow makes it work for Falcon. I don't know how. I don't really know who exactly is, uh. That's in the lead here because the thing is, they could both take Pikachu as a rage now, so. Any red F smash right now would more than likely kill, especially because it gets fresh. So, that yeah, that, oh, God, Pit actually has a very good F throw. With a little bit of rage, it becomes a good kill move. But if he would have uh, DI upwards, would he went to the corner or did he was that just poor DI? I don't think DI would have saved him there. Maybe if it was really, really good DI. He, he was the eye. You have to remember that in Smash 4, DI is much weaker than its melee and brawl counterpart. It must be like, uh, I know Ness is yo-yo. Um, it has a really good standing hitbox, so like, you can really get people with that. Because, uh, you have to remember, you don't have invincibility on frame 1 when you grab the ledge. So, that really messes up some people's recoveries. Uh, the tail of PK Thunder is also a really good dip, uh, gimp tool. Gimp huh. tool. Um, but... It actually, the reason it's such a good kill move, it sends you horizontally. You can't yeah. really DI upwards, it never sends you upwards. So, at the edge, especially at like 70%, that move will kill you, especially if Ness is at rage. And it's just such a safe option, if you get them off the stage, they have to be really cautious of that. You try to like mix it up, because as a Ness player myself, you, it's a really lethal move, you need to watch out for that. Of course, it's really of course. Uh, underrated too. And, uh, speaking of underrated, have we talked about how underrated the stage Smashville is? I don't think people give it near enough credit. <laughs> okay, but, but, but for real though, uh, we are 1-1 one, one right now, we haven't even been talking about the games. Like, like, we always go to Smashville, it's a great stage, people are comfortable with it, it's pretty balanced. I, I like it. I like that it. was a good read by there. You read the roll. <laughs> oh. Followed, uh, followed up on Pit. Of course, of course. That is like two things. That is something that both of these players do really well is reading and punishing rolls. Why is it illegal? So that's one thing I've been learning recently. Um, if, if you have a player, you're getting into their head, you're pressuring them. Likelihood is. If it's somebody, I mean, good players do it too. Some, they will try to roll away and just like get some breathing space. If you don't give that player breathing space, you can expect them to try to roll away from you. And, you know, practice this sometimes. 
run past where they're like where they land on the ground. Oh, I do that all and the time. Just grab them out of that because that is one of the key things in this game, especially if you pivot kill or pivot grab. I ran past before pivot grab to this mess. You know that's one way to stop is because I read that rule. Right. Rules are OP in this game, but that does not mean. They're unbeatable. They still have their weaknesses, and especially one of the reasons I think fast characters can like dominate this game is because they have a much better punish game. For instance, Ness, you can follow up on a lot of things. Um, if you can't get the grab, you can always leave it the a dash attack. Pikachu, you can, it's fast enough where you can usually always follow up with a dash attack for a game. It's just uh, mechanics like that. And also a neat mechanic in this game is ledge jumping. If you ledge jump somebody and make them like uh, fall off, especially characters like Ganon, uh, hit, it doesn't really affect as much. Um, whoa, wow. my back get killed. Something I have uh, noticed in this game is that a lot of people, since they play like multiple games, they won't try to take advantage of ledge jumping because we're used to ledge it's hogging so from different. the earlier yes. games. But, but if, if I've you... seen players like Zero who just, they know how to take advantage of ledge jumping and they'll like grab the ledge after someone already had, like intentionally get it after someone's got it and then take advantage of that to like hit them and then if they try to come back, you don't have invincibility, you're second grab onwards. And... It leaves you very vulnerable and super punishable, and people don't take advantage of that enough. Yep, and one of the things about ledge jumping, um, if you ledge jump and then somebody falls off, especially like, let's say we go back to Ganondorf, or maybe even Captain Falcon, the next time you try to go grab that ledge and they ledge jump, they won't have invincibility. So, that's like a free punish right there. Like, if you did that with Nasty, you can go back on stage, get a free down smash, you can do it with anybody. Oh, it's just, really just, really I can barely see the screen. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, not that we're talking about the game anyways, but still. Oh, uh, oh, stealing the seat. Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> hey, who won PM? That's my new tag. See? Yep. Seriously, who won PM? Who? Oh, it's not over oh, yet? Oh, bring it back? Yeah, you can go back. Okay. We don't have John's stupid rule. <laughs> What's John's stupid rule? We can't go back on the- I can't choose the same stage that we want on. Oh, right. You don't have that? No. Why not? It's, I like that rule. I think it's a good rule. I guess 4 doesn't have enough legal stages for that to It does. Really it does a ton, but it's just- we, I'm sorry. It is a fast car. I, I got a music John again. I'm sorry. Music Johns. I'm on YouTube and like it'll pull up an ad and light I can't up, do anything about it. Light up the fire in the night. Music from Persona Q. Q. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, you ready? The game that wishes it was a train odyssey, but sells itself because mean, it's Persona. Wait, Persona the fan picture. It's a train odyssey with Persona characters. And that shield breaker. Okay, so here's the deal with Marth in this game is that Marth's sword was replaced with a toothpick for this game, and because of that, it's really good at popping the bubble. <laughs> It's actually a needle. A toothpick is what they did to, uh... God, who, who got the toothpick instead? Meta Knight. Meta Knight got the toothpick. Marth got the needle. <laughs> Rocking in your pocket over there, talking about Sigmund Freud. The true best philosopher of all time. Suck it! Suck that hydrant! Some human, our former co-commentator over here, saying, "Suck that hydrant." Shout out to Pac-Man hydrant. It explodes now. It's because sometimes when your hydrant just can't take the pressure, it just yeah, like just oh what's inside of it just comes out an exploding mess. Too much water pressure. Yeah, too much water pressure. You know. Um, it, too much pressure, 7.5 out of 10. Too much pressure put on it by, uh, when you, when you try to drop your hydrant on, uh, say, Lucina, for example. Hey, actually, hey, did, you, did you know the new Pac-Man tech? Uh, you can, like, throw hydrants through the ledges. Pac-Man has tech? Uh, I think it's, uh, you do a certain aerial, but then, like, the next thing you do, like, if you were to place a hydrant on that platform up there, there's a certain technique where you can actually throw it through that. And the same thing goes, like, uh, for the sides of the stage. Really? There's another stage, I think, Halberd, you can actually throw it through the entire stage. Wow. It's well, yeah, really that's because you can get below that stage, and 
The switch to Mark just... The switch to Mars just didn't work out for Roto, and Face takes the set 3-0. He will be advancing to Grand. 3-1, I am sorry. And he will be ad advancing to Grand Finals, where he will take on Blueberry, my co-commentator here, for the grand prize of absolutely nothing.